when setting up a, a 1S blinky mode motor using say a 1S uh, LiPo 13.5 turn such as this uh, G-Force a Super Extreme 13.5 it's very difficult to set the sweet spot the optimum point now I've shown before that the um, optimum point is about 6 to 7 amps on when running on 2S battery so it's very difficult to set it on a 1S battery because the current is half and the fluctuations in the voltage uh, it's only 3.7 normal nominal can give you um, quite a change in the uh, amps it's much easier to set up the um, current a motor on a 2S and then put it into your 1S blinky car now the um, current is normally half drawn on a 1S so if it's uh, about 6 amps on here it would be normally 3 amps the motor would draw on a 1S but the um, motors uh, the efficiency and the motors don't run quite the same on lower voltage they draw a little more current uh, so um, if you set this up to about 6 on here if when you put it on a, a 1S battery it would probably draw about three and a half maybe uh, f maybe four amps so I'll just, I'll just uh, run that one showing 6.4 amps um, and I'll just run it up with the uh, 1S Okay, I'm running it on the 1S battery now. You can see it's drawing uh, about 4.2, uh, showing about 4.1, 4.2 on there. I can put that on hold. So exactly the same settings on the motor, just a 1S. So it's drawing about 4 amps. So your optimum point is about 4 amps uh, if you're going to try and set it with a meter in your 1S car. So. Um, that's how you do it using the, these meters and um, and adjust the timing. The timing will end up around about uh, 50 to 52 degrees normally on most motors but the end bells are not calibrated very well so you can use the end bell calibrations if you haven't got a meter at all and uh, start at 50 degrees at least you'll be um, you'll be close to where you want to run it Uh, just to remind you how to uh, measure the current in a motor so they can get the sweet spot it was, was in one of my other videos but I'll just show you again now um, the motor here would normally be in your car and the speed control which is this has got a speed control in it just like in your car but your car one be, will be operated normally by a transmitter this one's operated by a knob which does the same job so you just imagine your motor's in the car, uh, no pinion on it, and you speed control. Now normally you would plug in the battery uh, with the plus and minus. Now I'm going to use a 2S battery because the 1S one you got you couldn't read the screen. This isn't meant to run on a 1S, and so I'll just demonstrate with 2S again. Normally you plug the plus and minus in there. Well, you buy a meter. Now you can buy a cheap one. That would be 10 amps. It has 10 amps uh, written on it somewhere, and uh, you set it to amps DC. Uh, you can probably buy one on the internet for 10 less than 20 pounds, or even 10 pounds. And uh, now, you you connect one lead normally to your uh, battery, say the negative. Now you don't plug the positive in there. You plug the positive into the 10 amp socket. You just need a jumper lead. Now, luckily these are four millimeter sockets so if you're using four mil plugs they just plug in uh, just make up if you haven't got one or use the one that came in the meter uh, plug it into the positive and your car will come on like normal now um, it shows the display it's a tiny bit of current being drawn just to run the electronics now another type of meter you can buy is this thing called a clamp meter now these used to be very expensive but now I've seen them very cheap uh, being sold now 
um, you need one that does DC, not AC, and uh, does amps. You can set it to amps, and it's got jaws which open, and you just put it round one of the wires, like that, and it measures the magnetic field for the wire with a Hall Effect device, and um, it'll show up on the screen in amps. Uh, so you won't need this red meter, you could just plug in your battery like normal and put one of these round one of the wires. Not both, just one, either the black or the red. Now I'll just uh, run it up and show what these, um, what these show. I'll just zoom in a tiny bit for you, I don't know if you can see. Anyway, I'll just run this motor up. That one's not reading. I've got it on the wrong scale. There, yeah, amps. So it's reading six and a half amps on here. It's reading just over. Well, it's reading six point one now. It's reading six point. Jumping around about six amps on there and six amps on there. So just stop it. Um, these won't have hold, so they go down to zero. More expensive ones, you could have a, a hold feature. But if you could see that, they were about reading about 6 amps, the same as on here. Now this is reading uh, 6.3 on the scale. So um, that's how you do it. In this knob you just use your transmitter, you use the power on up to 4. Um, and just read the current, whatever it is, on the, on the screen. Uh, stop, adjust the end bell timing, however you want to adjust the timing on the motor. Uh, run it push it full speed again, measure the current again, until you get it to the sweet spot, which I've demonstrated before, uh, is about 6 to 7 amps, depending on um, whether it's a 10, 5, 13, 5, 17, 5, or 1S. So um, that's how you do it.